Hi guys, JC here. Welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Preview. <laughs> and you know what? Before we get started, just saying, how about last week's Sam F. Davis stakes, huh? <laughs> if you took my picks and boxed it, you got it. Yeah, 30 bucks and some change for the try for a dollar try. Now, now let's think about this for a second. 30 bucks doesn't sound like a whole lot of money, but if you think about it, you're cha changing a dollar, one thin dollar, into 30. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the race last week, but let's turn the page. Time to move on to this week. <laughs> and so, with that being said, it's time for the Risen Star. <laughs> race 13 from Fairground, set for a mile and eighth on the main track, restricted to those three-year-olds, and it carries a purse of $400,000. So, let's see, uh, get started right away, shall we? <laughs> guys, um, I'm actually liking Liam's Lucky Charm to win this one. Here's an interest, interesting alternate to your morning line chalk and a new Dior, and we'll talk about him a little bit later. Um, and I'm not taking any, anything away from a new, but um, like I said, we'll just talk about him in a moment. Back to Liam's Lucky Charm. And this is what caught my eye. Guys, I'm liking the fact that this jock that he has on for Saturday, this Edgar Zayas, he two of the three times that Edgar has been on board, this horse has won the race, but not only won it, has won it by several lanes, you know, five, six lanes um, at a time. So, of course, they're going to be trying for a three-peat on that um, on Saturday. And this horse is a ride-out specialist. He rode out last time, or sometimes he does, like, semi-ride-out. <laughs> I mean, he's come from, you know, a stocking position, but quickly taking that lead and hanging on to it till the end. So... Watch it for this horse to be in the front, you know, but he's going to keep that lead and he's going to win this race on Saturday. <laughs> Guys, moving right along. I'm liking a new day or to run second. Um, like I was saying earlier, there's nothing. I'm not taking anything away from him. He's got a really short three race career that looks great on paper. He ran second for you in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and the Los Alamitos Futurity. But he won, or excuse me, he ran second. In both those races, and he barely lost. You know, he lost by a neck or less than that, maybe a head. Um, so I'm thinking this horse could easily win this race on Saturday. Uh, the only question mark I might say is um, the new jockey, Joel Rosario's aboard. Joel's never ridden this horse before, so that's why I've got him running second. It may cost him a Vic, or it may not cost him a Vic. Joel is a great jock, so he might get him a win, you know. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'm watching for a new day or to run second on Saturday. And rounding out the top three, I'm like a major fed to uh, ice this cake, so to speak. Uh, I was trying to find like a closer sort of chance, <laughs> and this is the only one I could come up with. Um, he's only raced two times in his career. But he's come from five down in both those races. Now, the first time out, he ran third, which is great. Last time out, he won going away by hitting one by at least four. Uh, so, and I also like with this one, I'm liking that he um, started six furlongs. He stretched out to over a mile. So, I'm thinking he might just like this longer distance. You know, the two turns might be up his alley. <laughs> so, I got Major Fed run third for you. And, of course, the JC Upset Special, Finnick the Fierce. Guys, I've said before, I'll say it again. If you like what you see, and I know that you do, please click subscribe so you never, ever miss a video. Ring the bell, too. And uh, share my video down the street with someone who's going to enjoy it. Because yeah, I know you know them. And I know they want to watch this video. They need some help. <laughs> and anyways, if you want to read all about it, please join me on Facebook as always. Facebook.com slash JC's Horse Racing Preview. I'll catch you next week. Bye.